Replicable Highest Good Living, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 139. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 139, November 22nd, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, access links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel, and uh, you'll receive updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner-teacher collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 50% of the written content for the fall lesson plan to the website, as you can see here. This lesson plan is purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of fall. We additionally completed and added the final 50% of the mind map for the energy lesson plan to the web page. You can see that mind map here, and it completes that page of the website. Behind the scenes, we also wrote the first third of the winter lesson plan, bringing the behind the scenes written part of that to about 30% complete. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food completed another 10% of the streamlined version of our food self sufficiency transition plan page, bringing that to approximately 40% complete. This week, we added updates to the contributions provided by naturopathic Dr. Matt Maturano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health. We also added three additional recipes from Sandra Salani, vegan chef and author of What's Your BQ to the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan. These recipes are fruit salad with poppy seed dressing, pasta with tomatoes and spinach, and cream of celery soup with roasted red pepper. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team continued working on the behind-the-scenes revisions of the Footers Foundation and flooring page for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This week included the excavation profile drawing for the person working on getting this all into AutoCAD. Also, additional updates and reorganization of the narrative to reflect what we've learned through drawing out the excavation details. We'd say this brings us to 53% complete with this total rewrite and update. We also added all the Straw Bale Village Pod 2 renders you see here to the website. These outstanding renders are from Sayonara Batista de Oliveira, fourth year architecture and urban planning student, and they show what all the common spaces will look like, what the rooms will look like, and all the other most interesting aspects of this village from the highest good housing component of our project. 
visit the website to see these renders in more detail. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team finished updating the SketchUp 3D for the Duplicable City Center kitchen. This week included final touch-ups and textures, and the pictures you see here are from the final review of this area without the walls of the dome itself to get in the way. We'd say finishing the kitchen brings us to 75% done with the complete 3D update. Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued developing and evolving the pipe furniture designs. What you see here are the second series of renders for the final structural design for the chairs for the Duplicable City Center library. These renders show these designs with darker wood tones and galvanized pipe. You can also start to see what these chairs will look like when in use. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Designer and Business Systems Consultant, and Lucas Tetsui Da Silva, fourth-year computer engineering student, continued work on the control system design. Here's where it has progressed to. Additionally, here are some pictures from our weekly collaborative call showing Mike demonstrating how technology is shrinking and his first 3D printed parts from his new 3D printer that you can see most clearly in the background of this picture. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team continued building the copyrights, trademarks, patents, and using them to support open source and free sharing page. This page shares the amazing work of Oz Chersky, a lawyer specializing in trademark and copyright law. This week's progress included another complete round of edits, image editions, and some more formatting of all of Oz's work. We'd say this brings this page to about 90% completion. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community is about replicable highest good living. We define highest good living as living that is created with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet. And we're bringing together the people with that consciousness to create this. And we've broken it up into several different sections, the foundations that we think are essential for creating a sustainable civilization. And we see a sustainable civilization as the foundation of replicable highest good living and living for the highest good of all life on this planet. Because if our planet isn't sustainable, well, then by definition, not being sustainable means that it is going to come to an end. And we'd like to put that end out as far into the future as possible. So this is what we're all about. So to accomplish this goal, we are open sourcing and free sharing all of the foundations of highest good and sustainable living. These foundations are physical foundations, which are food, energy, and housing, and we're combining them with the emotional foundations, which we define as highest good education, fulfilled living practices, highest good economics, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together, as a combination that is a, as we consider an evolution of sustainability to create a way of life that most people will consider to be superior to the way they're living right now. And this is our path to transforming our planet within our lifetime. We believe that if we can create a model like this and we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it as attractive enough that the idea will spread on its own and has the potential to positively impact the life of every living thing on this planet within our lifetime. We do this through the ultimate expression of all of our open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources, which is teacher demonstration hubs. These tem teacher demonstration hubs will take the form of communities, villages, or cities, and they're designed to be built anywhere in the world. Teaching people how to teach other people how to live sustainably and to experience a better way of life too. Once again, making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it's attractive enough so that most people will see this way of living as better than the way that they're living right now and want to participate. And the model is designed on a highest good economics model so that the more you share it, the more you contribute and collaborate and work with others doing the same thing, the more you help others to achieve this level of, of fulfilled living and happiness too, the more successful you'll be as well. And so it's a self-perpetuating system 
of self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world to transform our planet. So this is our idea of replicable highest good living. If it sounds interesting to you, if it sounds fun to you, if it sounds exciting to you, you'd like to participate, we definitely invite you to get involved. We have lots of different ways to do that. The easiest way to get involved is to share our information on social media. We are on all the different social media networks. We are on Twitter, LinkedIn, Reddit, Facebook, Sue, uh, Pinterest, and about 15 other social media networks to make this easy as possible to get this information into the hands of the people that are interested in most and to share it with those that you think might benefit from it. Now, people ask, well, what's the number one thing that one community needs right now? Well, we are an all unpaid, all volunteer nonprofit organization. And so well, the biggest thing that we're seeking right now is large scale funding. We still do not have the property that we want to, that we've been designing around and we wish to build one community. The physical location that's one community is still not under our ownership. And so we are looking for the large scale funding, either a donation to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or as an investment in one community to help us get that property under our ownership so that we can start building. If we can get the property, then we can disclose the location, which will allow us to multiply our team exponentially since the number one things people say to us for not joining are, oh, I'd love to join, except I, until I know the location, you know, and I feel comfortable and when's your move on date, those kinds of things are essential for people to make lifestyle, life-changing decisions like what we want them to make to move on to the property, to build everything in this one community. You can't do that until we own the property. And so since we don't own the property, we're looking for that large-scale funder to help us to do that, the group or individual. So if you or somebody you know has the resources to do this, we would love it if you would put them in contact with us because we've been doing this full time for five years now. We are ready to build, but we need somebody to get the property into our into our ownership so that we can start that process. And then we'll take this whole idea of Rec will highest good living and we'll open it up so that people can come and experience it. Hundreds of people initially, thousands of people, then tens of thousands of people, and ultimately hundreds of thousands of people coming to visit one community experiencing what it is that we have to offer, the fulfilled living model, the highest good economics model, the sustainable food, housing, energy, all of these different things in one place. And if people like what they see, they can take the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints, the food, the energy infrastructure, the housing infrastructure, all of that stuff, open source and free shared so that people can take it and replicate it on their own. And if they want to replicate it as a complete teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub, we are here to help do that specifically and to open source all of their designs and modifications and models and the solutions that they come up with as well, creating an ever expanding suite of options, open source and free shared options for people to choose from. This is the future that we see, an open source and free shared future where collaboration has replaced competition, where we live on a sustainable planet, focused on the highest good of all life on this planet, taking care of everybody here, addressing, simultaneously addressing all the challenges of our generation and generations to come because we see them as not only interrelated but as interdependent and building teacher demonstration hubs as a bridge between the pragmatic to the idealistic. Building sustainable foundations, taking things that are already working around the world, putting them together in a complete model that simultaneously addresses all of our challenges to build a world that we know is possible but is currently seen as an idealistic dream. And we don't think it's an idealistic dream. We think that it's a practical and realistic goal. And so we're bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that want to participate in this and help create it and that believe that it's possible as well. And this is what we're doing. So thank you for the small donations. We're all an unpaid staff. Those help a lot. We have lots of small expenses that are associated with running a nonprofit, a global nonprofit like ours, and the small donations help us to cover most of those, not all of those. The other expenses are covered by our members, have to pay that difference out of our own pocket while we're also working for free to run one community, so little donations really make a difference. Thank you for sharing all of our information, because if we can't get the word out, then enough people won't know what we're doing to reach that tipping point that we know is possible. The tipping point of human and global participation such that we suddenly exponentially transform this world and things start happening much, much faster than they are right now. And of course, thank you for following our progress. Thank you for, you know, the comments, the emails, just uh, being aware of what it is that we're doing and putting your energy behind us as we continue to donate our time and to create everything that is one community. The idea of creating a replicable highest good living 
is not a revolutionary idea, but it could cause a paradigm shift in the way that people live. It could transform the way that everybody lives on this planet. And that is a revolutionary idea. The idea of living for the best of everybody really should make practical sense to everyone. Like, hey, we should live and do the best that we can to help as many people as possible. We don't think that that's a complex idea. Putting it together and doing all the work that we've been doing now for years so that there's actually a step-by-step -step process to accomplish that goal, that is a lot of work. And this is what we're up to. So thanks for following our progress. Thanks for everything that you do to support us. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.